And we want to get back to that breaking news on the death of comedian Bob Saget in Orlando, Florida. We have entertainment reporter Josh McBride on the phone with us. So, Josh, are you there? I am, yeah. Thank you so much for making the time for us. And this comes as a shock to so many tonight. What is your reaction? Look, a, a big loss for the entertainment community. You know, if you, if you were a child uh, or a teenager in the 90s, uh, you will remember Bob Saget, of course, as his uh, famous role as Danny Tanner on Full House. This is a big loss, especially uh, for the comedy community. We don't know much. Uh, we do know that the Orange County Sheriff's Office did put out a tweet uh, less than an hour ago. Uh, you know, people were skeptical about uh, what he ha had passed from. We're not sure yet. They do say, quote, the man was identified as Robert Saget and pronounced deceased on scene. Detectives found no signs of foul play or drug use in this case. Uh, you know, uh, if you don't know him from Full House, you know him from America's Funniest Home Videos or How I Met Your Mother. Um, this is a big loss. Yeah, and talk about his, his mark on Hollywood because he was so dynamic, right? He was raunchy. He did adult comedy. He was inappropriate at times, but so funny. And yet he was America's favorite dad. Absolutely. And we grew up with him as America's favorite dad. Uh, you know, I, I talked to a couple of sources that are close to him and his family, and they're absolutely devastated. We grew up with him uh, making jokes and also making jokes off of Fuller, uh, Full House or Fuller House, rather, um, that push the barriers of comedy. This is a big loss for the for, uh, for I feel like a comedian because he was an icon, especially in this space. Um, it, 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 people who may have may or may be new to Bob Saget, and they shouldn't be. They might have seen him on The Masked Singer in 2020. He actually had uh, dates lined up uh, through June uh, for this tour that he's on right now, the I Don't Do Negative tour. Um, so this is really, it, it comes as a shock, really. And what, was, what were his latter days like? I mean, we, we kind of remember him from the 90s, as you said, everyone who grew up in the 90s that knows him as his full house character. And, and we knew that he was a comedian later, but what was his life like, you know, over the past decade or so? Yeah, he did join the cast of Fuller House when Full House did do uh, the revamp. I think that that's important to mention because that was such a big success on Netflix. Uh, he did a lot of documentaries where he popped in sort of to, to one-off episodes here and there. I mentioned How I Met Your Mother. He did that. In 2014, he was actually nominated uh, for a Grammy Award for Best Comedy Album. I mean, this guy uh, uh, kind of had uh, TV and comedy on lock. This is what he did. And I feel like he was one of those actors who really could walk on any comedic television show and get a cameo role uh, if he wanted. Uh, this was a person who pushed the boundaries and the limits of comedy. Um, you, you might remember him. He was also in Madagascar in 2005 as a zoo animal. Um, he's he, he, like it, he's just had so much work. A lot of people even remember him as like cameos from like the movie Half Baked back in 1998. So um, it, it, it's, it's, I, I say this again, but what a sad, uh, a really big loss. Uh, for comedians, especially because this was what he grasped on. This is what he uh, was known as. Yeah, I, I will never forget that half-baked cameo. That's probably one of the funniest things I've ever seen. And that's what I always remember when I, when I think of him is just how extreme and how polar opposite the parts he could play were. Yeah, absolutely. You know, I think you said it before. I think he pushed the boundaries of comedy. I think he took it, some would call it, uh, you know, I think he had people calling him disgusting or grotesque, but he really pushed the boundaries of making people laugh. Uh, he was a comedian that, that really did whatever it took to get the laugh. And I was reading about him. He intended to be a doctor, and an English teacher in high school saw the creative potential in him. They saw his artistic ability, that teacher, and, and encouraged him to pursue a career in the arts. And, and something like that can just completely change a person's life and, and send it on that upward trajectory. And I know he has inspired so many people after him. Absolutely. Yeah, I, I think that's a, a, a good point to mention. I think between getting involved in the arts, he, he found his niche when he jumped into TV and film. Uh, I think it was 1977. So, uh, it, it, he, you know, this was this was his life and his livelihood. Um, we haven't uh, this is actually important to mention. We haven't heard from any of the cast of Full House or Fuller House yet. Uh, I'm, I'm assuming there will be tributes in the next day or two. You know, this was a family onset and offset, I'm told. Uh, in that these people grew up together and, and worked together for hours upon hours. Thanks for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.